Hey guys, welcome back. Time for an unboxing. Okay, so it is time for our August BoxyCharm unboxing. Yay, it's time for my August BoxyCharm unboxing. I woke up this morning, went to the mailbox because I am lucky enough to get my mail nice and early, and look what I found in the box. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, I did get a shipping notification this was in the mail, so I'm happy it's here. And let's unbox it together because I have not peeked in this box at all. For those of you who are unaware of what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly subscription service that you can pay for and they send you a box full of surprise goodies every single month. I'm going to have BoxyCharm linked below in the description box for your convenience if you want to click on it and check out the link. It is not an affiliate link, it's just for convenience. And all the information I can gather about BoxyCharm is going to be in the description bar for you guys. So I don't have to bore you with all these details and we can just jump right into the front part. Okay, so let's go. Alright, so you open it up, cute little box, and bam, here we go. All right, this is the card. I don't want to look at this stuff because I want to be surprised. This is the Beach Babe. This month, we are channeling our inner Beach Babe. Sexy, bronze, beautiful. We want you to feel the ocean breeze and soak the sun. I guess they've never seen my pale skin. <laughs> Being by the sea is a state of mind. Charmers, we want you to make waves with this month's boxy charm. You'll be sure to turn heads with all these summertime goodies. I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer. Okay guys, so the first thing I see in this box here is Ofra Eyeliner in black. Looks like this. Let's swatch a it. It's pretty black. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, Ofra is one of those companies behind the company. If you know what that's supposed to mean. They make other... They make palettes and products for other larger companies they sell at Sephora. So Ofra is a really good company. And strange enough, I tried to get my hands on one of these eyeliners at at the makeup show back in May. And I couldn't because they were all sold out because they were such a good deal. So I'm really excited to try this. Yippee skippy. I know you're like really close to my face. Hi. So the next thing I see in here is a big old brush from Morph. Awesome. Um, this brush looks awesome. It's so soft, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it. So pretty. This looks like the Shanexo bronzing brush that she uses to bronze up her face. Oh, I can't wait to use this. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. This, this is so soft, you guys. Oh, yeah, it would be great for like bronzer. Well, if I wore bronzer, but I don't really wear bronzer a lot, but hey, you never know when that's going to change. So the next thing in here is this. It's the Model Co. Cheek and Lip Stain. Let's get this little bad boy open. Comes in a little pouchy pouch. Oh, all right. So it looks like a little, one of those little paints, you know, comes in a little paint. And what does it say? It says, um, you dab it on your finger and use it as a blush or a cheek tip uh, or a lip a leap tint. What's with my language today? So you'd use this as a, as a lip tint. Oh, it looks like a beautiful fuchsia color. It's called Rosy Red. Oh, this is really cool. Let's see what it looks like in here. Okay, we're going to put it on our hand. Okay, just a tiny bit because we don't want to get this everywhere. Okay, there we go. Oh, so it's, it's kind of like the Benetton. And then you would just pat it. Okay, yeah, it blends. It sh wow, it sheared out a lot. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like berries, you guys. Yummy. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so the next thing in here is a Tarina Tarantino Conditioning Lip Sheen. The packaging is like, cool. It is in the color Floriculture. All right, let's see what Floriculture looks like. Come on, Floriculture. Okay. Woo! Oh, that one got away from me. <laughs> that got away. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, I have to zoom you guys in. Oh my gosh, look at this packaging. It says Tarina Tarantino here. And it's got beautiful crystals and it's a beautiful, oh my gosh, this packaging is gorgeous. <gasps> wow. We had to look at the packaging before we even opened it. I mean, that that's probably the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. And this color, whoa, look at that color. Wow, that looks like a nice wine, like almost a port wine color. Let's see. Okay, it's a little sheer, but that's good because this is really dark. <gasps> that's really pretty. This goes right along with that uh, cheek color, but you know, I know the lip and cheek color is supposed to be lip and cheek. Well, this is just lip, but 
but this is gorgeous. <gasps> so pretty. Wow. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is probably the most beautiful lipstick I've ever seen. Wow. I mean, not the lip color. The lip color is good, but I mean, the packaging is gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. So decadent. So decadent. Okay, and there's one more product in here, you guys. Okay, so let's put this little box to the side. This is Blowtorch Bronzer, and it says Enter, Enter Pronoun. It says Enter Pronoun. I couldn't read that. I was like, what does that say? Enter Pronoun by makeup artist Natalia Ramirez, Blowtorch. Okay, I hope this bronzer isn't too dark because I am uber pale. <laughs> okay, let's see. <gasps> wow. Again with the gorgeous packaging. Wow. Ooh, and it's like a mirror. I can see myself. Look. It's like a mirror mirrorific. Alright, let's open this. Oh, nice. You know what? I could use this as a blush. Oh, really pretty. That's gorgeous. I love that. It's probably a little too orangey red for me to use as a bronzer, but for a blush, that is gorgeous. Look at the pigmentation. Let's put it right next to the rosy, the, the, the lipstick. Wow, it's nice. That's really pretty. And it has a gorgeous mirror. Nice. What beautiful packaging. Guys, you guys got to know by now, with me, packaging has such a huge amount to do with it. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. <gasps> so good. Okay, so now let's, let's grab that card and see what everything's worth. The Blowtorch Bronzer by Enter Pronoun is $35, 10 grams, and it is full size. And the Tarina Tarantino Conditioning Lip Sheen is a full size. It's $22, 3.5 grams. The Model Co. Cheek and Lip Tint in Rosy Tint is a full size, and this is $22. The Morph Brush is a powder brush, and uh, I'm going to read it. It says, um... Morph Powder Brush Bristles are soft and silky and great for applying the right amount of powder to a flawless finish. Oh boy. This is a $19.99 brush. Oh yeah. And finally, the Ofra Cosmetics Eyeliner is a full size as well and that's $13. It's .04 ounces. And it says, what a resistant pencil suitable for most sensitive eyes and lip areas. Created with a synthetic beeswax base for smooth, soft, and long-lasting application. Okay, so that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I would say that this month was pretty dynamite. I have never gotten a BoxyCharm that was crappy. Just so you guys know, every single time I've gotten a month, the boxes are good. Everything in there is just stuff I wouldn't necessarily have bought for myself, but I was happy to try out. It's I love it when that happens because it's just... Sometimes you get in a makeup rut and you're just used to buying the same stuff and trying the same stuff and, you know these kinds of services bring you outside the box. For a small fee, you can get this really great subscription that shows up at your house every single month and surprises you with a whole bunch of products you would have never tried. Well, if you're me, you wouldn't have tried them because whatever. <laughs> Speaking for myself, I wouldn't have grabbed them otherwise. So I'm glad that I got the chance to check these out. Yeah, I'm really excited. What a great box. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed my BoxyCharm August unboxing. I am really, really happy with this subscription service and I think that these products are awesome. I can't wait to play around in them. Yay! Alright, well if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I really like the shape of the brush. I know that sounds like such a weird thing to say about the polish.